Well, American women are starting more than 1,200 small businesses a day, twice as many as three years ago. So what are the keys to success? WFMZ's Nancy Wirtin takes a look in Life Lessons. Successful women say the recipe for success is hard work mixed with a few other things. You might call them opportunity entrepreneurs. These women are celebrating the publication of their new book, Pure Wealth, 26 Ways to Crazy Profitability. They're sharing the secrets of their success. Be an ambitious woman. If successful people decide they're going to be ambitious. Esther Spina says she's made $5 million in seven years selling electricity. You make the decision one time and you keep going forward. That's number one. And number two is you just never ever give up. Gail Goodman coaches companies and individuals on improving their phone skills. The challenge is what do you have that you're going to get people to pay you for? That's like the most critical question. Dr. Patricia Sulak, a gynecologist, has made herself a wellness expert. It's not just about our physical health. It's about our emotional health, our spiritual health, our socioeconomic health. We have to put all of this together. These women agree. The first five things new entrepreneurs need to do Market yourself and your brand. Use phrases that work for you. Overcome your personal barriers. Hire coaches and other experts to fill in your gaps and build relationships. That's really the power of having a coach, hiring an expert. You're paying for that person's time and you're paying for that person to help keep you accountable. And you tell people, you know, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm here to help you find the solution you're looking for. Above all, these successful women say it's important for new entrepreneurs to develop a strong sense of their themselves to turn their passion into profits. Women are not only helping themselves, but the economy too. It's estimated that women-owned businesses generated more than $1.3 trillion in revenue last year, employing nearly 8 million people. Nancy Wirtin, 69 News.